hello friends and welcome to our channel this is our first tutorial of android development application so to work on android uh, to work on android applications we can use java as well as a kotlin kotlin is the most recommended language recommended by google but we can also use java and no matter if you are using kotlin or java we need a jdk for development jdk stands for java development kit so in this session we will learn how to install JDK and how to set up environmental variable so to download JDK we need to go to Google and type download JDK now go to JDK download click here so here are the list of versions of JDK we have so based on the which and operating system we are using Linux Mac Windows you can pick whichever whichever you want to install it's gonna take a couple of seconds to install it or based on the bandwidth of your internet now I'll open it and click on install I click on next if you want to change the location where you want to install you can do that I don't want to change it so I'll go with the next so it installed successfully now JDK is installed successfully now we need to configure environment variable so what we need to do for that to see it install or not go to C drive so since I installed my JDK into my C drive, so go to C drive, scroll down files, and there should be a folder Java. Inside that, you'll see JDK 14. So the, see the date because I already have JDK 8 on my machine. So this is a new version which I installed of JDK. Now let's go to now JDK is installed but to use it we need to tell the environment we need to set environmental variable as well so that when we run the application it will pick where our JDK JDK location is so I'll type environment over here click on that go to environment settings and here I'll see J Java home since I already set it for JDK 8, so I'm not gonna change it for JDK 14. So what you need to do, if in case you have to, you go the installer of JDK, your JDK, and till here copy the URL, and then paste it over here. So you need to create a new variable. Since I already have Java Home, so you need to write variable name Java Home, and then paste it over here the JDK variable variable value. Or the location of where you install the JDK. I'm not gonna change my JDK 8, so let me cancel it. It should be JDK 8. And once you are done with that successfully, you can go to the command prompt and check if it's installed properly or not. So you can write Java hyphen version. So you're able to know Java because I set path for only JDK 8 that's why it's, it's showing me J, JDK 1.8 version if I'll set it for J, JDK 14 it should show me the JDK 14 and that's how we can install and configure Java JDK so to summarize what we have done so far we have installed JDK and we have configured environmental variable so that's all we have done for this session in the next session we'll learn how to install Android studio on Windows